yes, every trader loses money. But those losses won't incur to a degree where they lose their mind because they understand how they wreck themselves because, oh, I'm doing more trades than I should because I'm worrying about that bad feeling of that I have a losing trade. I have a losing trade. So what? Your spouse is going to ask you, did you make money today? No, I did something wrong. It didn't pan out. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it, honey. You will get there tomorrow or you'll get it back. That's the encouraging spouse. If you know that about your spouse, that they're not going to be equipped to be like that, then you don't fucking talk about trading with your spouse. See how that works? You, you sit down with your spouse and say, look, how are you going to approach this if I lose money? Because if you lose your shit about it, we need to come to agree agreement right now before I go any further. This is what I'm willing to risk. This is what I'm willing to invest in time and money. Are you in agreement with that? That has to be sorted out because if you go in selfishly saying, look, woman, this is the way it is. And if you don't like it, there's a door. Don't let it hit you in the ass because I'm going to tell you something. She might do that. And you're going to see how impossible it is to fucking trade properly because your heart's going to walk out the door with her. Oh, no, it, it will. It fucking will. And if you don't think so, wait till you see it with somebody else. <laughs> Your, your trading will turn to shit real quick. So you have to worry about all those things that people don't write about in books. These young 20-year-olds, they don't even have relationships. They're not married. Okay, They're out there trying to taste, chase tail all the time. They're not going to talk to you about these things. They're going to be heavyweights in your development, in your continuity. But as a 50-year-old man, two marriages, five kids, two miscarriages, I have endured some things and I know how those things impacted me and I'm not ashamed to tell you how they impacted me because it's raw and it's real and I know that there are people out there like me and have got it worse you see I didn't have to pay child support when I got with that gold digger because I took extreme measures but we had joint custody so I did half she did half. And that was it. But some of you out here made poor choices, didn't manage your relationships well, and you've created children that you were not really responsible for. And now you have to pay a whole lot of money in child support. Own it. Be a fucking man and own it. Take care of it. And this is one way you can do that. And guess what? You could also become a positive role model for your child. That relationship failed, okay, but don't fail as a parent. But if you have those things wrestling with, you know, all these failures in life, they're going to weigh on your decision making. They're going to weigh on your development as a student. And to ignore them or pretend that that's not true, you're lying to yourself. And you're wasting your fucking time because I'm telling you, every person, every person has regrets. Every single one of us do. And if you've not wrestled with that and sorted it out and forgiven yourself and that other person, you're going to be motivated by all the wrong things. And my videos, my teachings, my mentorship, and even sitting down with me live pointing out shit before it happens in a chart next year is still going to fucking cause you to lose money. And because you are weak-minded, you're going to say these things don't work, despite all the evidence saying otherwise. Because you need to say those things to exist. Because you can't take ownership. That you are the problem. 